I'd uploaded a video about his game the day before, reviewed it on Steam too. Wasn't positive, didn't like the game. The developer commented on the video calling me a meanie. He played the solo developer card too. My reply to that is almost automatic. This is my story. Okay, so that was a bit of an exaggeration. I'm just going to read out his email and then respond to it. The title, a bit of an exaggeration as well. I couldn't help but nick that from Jim Sterling. I couldn't resist. This is no way on the same level of the Slaughtering Grounds developers, by the way. I'll just get that out there. So, reading the email, I was going to do it in my retarded monotone voice. But I think probably I should just save that for the little bit that, well, that he's quoted. So... For the rest of the email, just gonna do it in a silly voice. I couldn't do American douche, so would would think of something else. Take this video down and understand the law in your country. When you press that agree button, you agree not to libel or defame the company, or you agree to compensate us as defined in the remedy section of the document. The developer's claim is not a crypto miner and it didn't use much in the way of processor GPU power whilst running, which appears to back that up. Their statement is still defaming. It is like someone saying something absolutely terrible about you by saying, Rusty said he did this awful thing, but maybe he did. Putting this thought into our customers' minds is the first thing they read is absolutely unacceptable. It is like saying, if you click a, a Rusty One Gamer video, you might get a virus. It's totally, absolutely untrue, but it will harm your following. It is not at all wrong to ill critique something. You don't like the graphics, fine. You hate the game, fine. One star. Spreading unproven lies is a defamation lawsuit waiting to happen. We highly recommend you re-record your video to not include defamatory remarks or you will find yourself on the wrong side of the law. I'm responsible for monetary damage to our game. You have 24 hours to respond. So this first bit, the title, the subject of the email, instantly he's got a demand there. When you're a small YouTuber, things like this might worry you. Uh, it did initially me, because you're like, oh my god, this has never happened, what do I do? I'm just a tiny YouTuber. I better just fall on my knees and delete it because otherwise I'll get in trouble and my YouTube channel will be destroyed. This is the tactic I guess developers like this would use and then he goes on to talk about the law so you worry about that. Oh he knows about the law in my country, I, I don't know. But it it kind of turns out that I know probably just as much as he does if not more. So yeah it's just a scare tactic really, that subject. It's kind of thing maybe a cold cooler would use to to get a granny to give over her life savings, something like that, because you're so worried, you think, this person clearly has authority over me, they know what they're doing, I don't know what they're doing, so I better just comply. So this next bit, he goes on to talk about the user license agreement that you click accept on when you install the game on Steam. Now, the problem with this is, is that there's no way you could prove that the person you were talking about is the one that accepted it. I mean, it's not like you sign anything. There's no hard signing of any agreement here with this company. You click accept. And they don't know who's clicked accept on the document. It's not like a virtual signature even. It's just clicking accept. And there seems so sort of budget that you have to do it every time you start the game up as well as doing it when you install the game on Steam. So I don't think there's an instance of one of these digital uh, user license agreements ever being used in court. Could be wrong there. Uh, I bet there isn't on Steam. I bet no one's taken anyone to court over a user license agreement because I don't think they'd hold up very well in court, honestly. And most people don't even read them. Like I said, you can't prove who's accepted it and you often need like a legal degree to be able to read them so yeah i mean you can beat people over the head with that all you want he's quoted the bit that says you will not libel or defame the company which i didn't do so let's move on so here he's quoted my thing that i said in my steam review not even in the video which as you can see 
is not me claiming that it's a crypto miner. I don't say it's a crypto miner. You might have a case if I'd said, this game is a crypto miner, but I didn't say that. So that's really all I have to say about that statement. He then goes on to explain how he thinks that it is defaming and gives some pretty terrible examples. Well, he gives one terrible example, which kind of would be going up against Google there because it's the company as well. I upload videos to YouTube. So, I mean, if he wants to take on YouTube, that's fine by me. Go for it. A better example maybe would be something like, say I developed a video game and he did a video on my video game. Maybe my video game looks pretty terrible. It looked like the kind of thing a Unity asset flipper might make. And he might say something like, I looked on the asset store, couldn't find the assets for this game. So it seems like it's not an asset flip. That's similar. It's not defaming, is it, at all? So yeah, shit example. Mine's a bit better. But again, not defamation, not libel. Moving on. I mean, this bit he just says that it's not wrong to criticise things. You can have opinions. Yep, I agree. <laughs> Carrying on. Here's the bit I didn't like. This is another thing to worry you. Really didn't like this bit. Uh, talks about lawsuits waiting to happen. Uh, this is obviously meant to scare you into thinking, oh God, could I get sued for this? Did I do a defamation? This could be really bad. I, d I don't want this. I'm just a tiny YouTube channel. I don't even make money from this. It's my channel so small. If this ever happens to you and you're in a similar situation, just look, look at what you said. Look at what you wrote. Uh, think calmly about it and then if you want do some research because chances are this person knows as little as you do You probably know more in fact because I would hope that everyone who starts a YouTube channel does the barest of research into Fair use law in their country and things like defamation. I mean, that's what I did He's saying record re-record your video get rid of the defamatory remarks. He's claiming they're defamatory remarks again They aren't you're the wrong side of the law, so you get worried. Responsible for monetary damage to our game. That's the funniest to me because under the UK Defamation Act, which was changed in 2013, I think, if a company, say, can prove you've defamed them, or at least you don't have a defense against that, because you would then have to prove that your defamatory remarks were true in that case, but the company would have to prove that you damage them monetarily. My video is sitting on, I don't know, 100 and, 100 and something, 150 something views, I think, with 14 thumbs up. Uh, so not, not a big video at all. And he says they've got about 6,000 people playing or there's 6,000 registered users. So yeah, how many of them have seen my video? I also have that Steam review that has just over 30 likes. It's the top review, but then again, there's only 18 reviews on there. So, yeah, they'd find it very difficult to claim that I'd done any monetary damage to their game if I'd defamed them, which I haven't, because I haven't claimed that the game is a crypto miner. Then he just goes on to link to some American website. Yeah, okay. I mean, brilliant. That's also meant to scare me, I guess, because look, Oh my god, he's linked to a law website, and they say about law, it's some website that defends, I think, people in Silicon Valley, so, you know, bellends like him, I just, yeah, I, I went on there, had a quick look at it, um, but then I thought, no, I would find somewhere better to research this. This last bit is my favourite bit, because, I mean, what, is he a Bond villain or something? This is amazing. You have 24 hours to respond. <laughs> what? Uh, again, obviously meant to scare you. Think, oh my god, I need to respond to this guy. Because look, he's demanded <laughs> you have 24 hours. Like, what's he going to do? Is he going to blow up the bomb on the bus if I don't respond in time? Is he going to send me another email? Is he going to demand that I take my video down again? Yeah. So, I didn't respond to the email within 24 hours. I did make some comments on 
my YouTube page, I think, replies to him. And also, I, I edited my Steam review to state that he'd sent this threatening email. Because I thought people should know that if they're critical about his game. And that's really all I've got to say about that email, to be honest. A few more things have happened since then. He's replied a few more times in my YouTube comments. He said a few more things, uh, some of them fairly funny, talking about my quality control videos and how they're all negative. I mean, that's just not true. That's literally not true. So there we go. I mean, that's a bit slanderous, but I'm just going to leave it. He obviously insults me a few times, calling me monotone and arrogant, a sleaze bag, because I criticised his brilliant video game. It's not brilliant, it's terrible. Um, and another comment, another comment is brilliant. Uh, he says, as an example, it would be like me telling everyone that he is a crack dealer to children on a YouTube video. No, no, it's not. Because if you, you made a YouTube video where you called me a crack dealer, that would be defamation. Because you're calling me a crack dealer. You would have to prove in court that I was a crack dealer to children. I mean, even then, saying that, because he uses my username, not my real name, because I'm not stupid enough to give that out, you know, I would have to prove that it's this had a negative effect. Like, that people, lots of people know that name. Um, so I don't know, I don't know if I'd be able to sue him for it. But if you literally call someone a crack dealer, that is defamation, yeah? You absolute cretin. And here's the thing, you can speculate about people all you want, it's when you level accusations at people that it becomes an issue in that regard. If you start stating things as fact, then that's where you get a problem. And context obviously comes into play too. It's reasonable to ask questions about a game like this in regards to the crypto. Because here's the thing, I wasn't even the first person to bring up crypto mining. While I was making the video, I mean if you watch my video back, uh, at the end, I scroll through the chat box and somebody's bought up crypto mining there saying, I don't want to play this game or something because someone on the Steam store or something told me it was a crypto miner. I hadn't made my Steam review by that point. I hadn't made my video. I was making my video at that point. I hadn't mentioned the game at all to anyone. So, yeah, I'm not the first one who's, whose thoughts went to that and how can you be that surprised that people will think about that? What would the way things are on Steam at the moment? There was that big profile case, that game Abstractism, that turned out was crypto mining. So people took it down. And your game is so poorly explained in terms of its cryptocurrency. And with the crypto as well. This is a game that features a crypto marketplace. They state very proudly that it's one of the first of its kind. And most people, most people on Steam, who are just looking for a video game to play, this including me, know very little about how all this crypto stuff works. Especially crypto marketplaces, how, how do these things work? And LaserChain does a terrible job. I probably didn't get this across well enough in the video. The cryptocurrency, especially in the marketplace, are so badly explained. You don't know how you're supposed to make money, how you exchange it, where does the money come from? I mean, this needs to be explained to people who are on Steam expecting a video game. And you can complain about gamers not being hardcore enough for your fucking economy simulator disguised as a shit video game all you bloody want, but it doesn't change the fact that people like to know how things work, especially when it comes to their money. And maybe instead of insulting people who have made videos, about your game, you should be working on making it easier to understand, fixing the issues that I had with it, which you just completely ignore. You just say, that's okay, you can criticize the graphics, but you're more interested in getting threatening, angry, not in fixing your game, making it better, giving people a clearer idea. They've got this thing on their website called the white paper, which is like an 11 page PDF and I've read through most of that and I'm still not entirely sure how it works, the crypto marketplace. But you shouldn't have to have that. You should explain it in your actual game. So as well as the comments, he also, or somebody in the game, an admin, because I've got a screenshot of this, a nice Steam user who actually tried to add me. I'm not sure if he was pro or anti me, 
from his comment on the screenshot. No idea, but, you know, thanks for taking the screenshot. Where one of the admin uh, talks about me in the game to everyone. Which, you know, that was the most worrying thing, I think. Because the fact that people are talking about you behind your back to potentially, because they say, 6,000 sign-ups. That could come across as harassment if you're if you're directing people to me or at least talking about me to all these many people that he calls me a 16 year old and I put a horrible review up and it's apparently impacting the player interest got no evidence of that so that's a bit worrying I mean they could be talking about me they've got a, a discord and some other thing uh, that's like discord I think maybe they're talking about me and there I mean these are things I can monitor hopefully nothing will come of it but you know we'll see other than that I'm just going to forget about this terrible game because it is an awful game. Instead of talking about the crypto, I probably should have talked about is it pay to win? Is it pay to play? I mean, it seems more pay to play than pay to win because there's so many waiting times for building. You know, an hour? Who wants to wait an hour? You can't do anything else while that stuff's happening unless you want to wait for more. Initially, while I was playing it, you could only do one thing at a time. Maybe when you level up, you could do more things, but... Yeah, I mean, it's just a crappy game, and they poorly explained their biggest selling point. So, that's really all I've got to say about this. Hopefully, that's the end of it. Unpleasant to deal with. Hopefully, if you're in my situation in YouTube, maybe this has given you a little bit of advice on what don't fold. I think that's a stupid thing to do, especially at such an early stage. They didn't DMCA me or anything like that. I mean, my video is covered under fair use, so they can if they want. I would definitely appeal that. So yeah, hopefully this has been mildly helpful. And it wasn't a pleasant experience. I wouldn't wish it on anyone. I say I wish the team well. I've got no ill feelings, really, towards the rest of them. I mean, the dev is obviously a bit of a dick. There is actually a team working on this. Despite the fact that he seems to make out in the comments that it's just him. And I wouldn't recommend you go and talk to any of these people or harass them. That's not okay. Just ignore them. Don't do anything in my name. I say this like I've got a huge following that will do stuff like this to defend me. But I don't. But don't do it anyway. Because it's not okay. Haven't interacted with any of the others, I don't think. Oh, I did notice someone on their team, someone from their marketing team subscribed to me on YouTube. Don't know what that's about, but, you know, we'll see if anything comes up from that. Hopefully not. Um, maybe he just wanted to sub, maybe he liked my video about his game. I hope I never have to hear from them again. I'll see you next time with another one of my negative videos. Bye-bye. <laughs>